All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Kohalah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I'm going to jump straight into this video. Lord's willing, this one isn't too long. Um, <laughs> knowing me, probably it is. Uh, hopefully it's not, though. All right. Um, so that being said, let's get straight into it. Um, this video is inspired by uh, a video. I, I, I think I put it up on my page um, a couple days ago. I had watched. I had wanted to do a video on it, um, but I didn't have time. You know, I like to, you know, take my time and, you know, uh, you know, don't just rush through a video. You know what I'm saying? You know, I want my videos to be edifying, you know. I don't want to shortchange the, the hopeful elect, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, th this video is inspired by a video that I watched by uh, this brother, uh, one of the brothers. I believe it's one of the elder brothers in the Men of Valor, the House of Joseph. I, I salute your brother. I don't remember your name. Um, anyway, his, his channel is the House of Joseph, all right? And uh, he made a statement. Uh, he was saying that uh, he was going into apostles. I mean, Salaki, not apostles, prophets versus teachers. And he made a statement. He was like, uh, a teacher uh, is one thing. I mean, there's levels of things, right? Okay. Um, I'm just paraphrasing, you know. But the brother was like, there's levels of things. And, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody has their own lot. You know what I'm saying? A teacher has its own lot, right? And then a prophet has their own lot. A prophet is a teacher, but a teacher is not a prophet. Okay, if I said that correctly, let me say it again. A prophet is a teacher. That's one of the duties amongst being a prophet. Okay, but a teacher cannot be a prophet. This levels the thing. Okay. All right. So, um, and that basically what inspired this lesson. And um, we're going to I chop it up more as we get into it. All right. Um, so the first thing I want to get, I got a couple of things lined up, but the first scripture I want to start off start off with is going to be First um, Corinthians fourteen and thirty nine. It says, wherefore, brethren, covet, and we know, like the brother brought out, the brother, uh, house of Joseph brought this scripture out. It says, he was saying that covet, like we know with the scriptures, which is true, to covet something is usually, has co a negative connotation, you know, it has negative meaning. However, in this instance, you're, you, this, this is not a bad, you, you want to do this, man. We should be coveting the prophesy. Okay. So First Corinthians fourteen and like I said, that, he, that that when he said that, I just I was like, man, that's a lesson, you know. The wadi habashim yahu shai, the wadi to the akiyam that uh put that up, do, being diligent, or else I would have never got the spirit. And that's why you're supposed to be diligent. I'm I'm going off on a tangent, but that's why we all we're all supposed to show the same diligence. As you can see, as uh the Lord um Salakia, the Lord had a uh, elder apostle to heart coined this name, uh the year of Karagma. The, Okay, last year was the year of uh, prophecy. Okay, and uh, the brothers were pushing out the going into prophecies heavy, you know. And now it's the year of Karagma, and you see that the spirit is turned up. Brothers, you, you, brothers are putting up videos constantly. That that's the Lord putting the spirit on these brothers to do that to prophesy, man. And, and you should be in that spirit also. I'm not, you know, the brothers that that are doing that, you know. Shalom to you brothers, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying to the ones that need to hear it, you know. You know, I'm here to motivate the elect, man, the hopeful elect, to keep pushing. You know, we all got to make our bodies a living sacrifice. I, well, I got all them scriptures, you know, I'm going to pull them out still, but, you know, I'm just speaking right now, you know. We should all be striving, giving diligence, because the times that, you know, bad times are coming, Jacob's trouble. Now is the time to get your hands dirty and do that work. And the, the work is prophesying, man. Studying the scriptures. Eating the roll and then going out and teaching. Simple. It's, it's very simple. Nothing else. You should be on fire like the apostles always say. Not lukewarm. Okay? Because the Lord will spew you out. He's done it before. Time and time before. And he's going to do it again and continue to do it again. He's sifting the house of Israel. And the closer and closer we get, remember, Yahweh Shai is austere. And Yahweh's he's to say, they're one. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are one. So that means Yahweh is austere. Probably even more so than his father. I mean, than his son. You see? Yahweh's probably, because, you know, Yahweh Shai is the intercessor. You know, he's the go between. He's the Mo, he's our Moses. You know, we can't go to the Lord. The Lord will fucking fuck us up. So, like, if, you know, cursing or whatever, but, um, so called cursing. You know, but anyway, anyway, let, let me, let me get back to what I was talking about. All right? 
prophesy. We should be covered in the prophesy. Okay, we should be. There's levels of things, is which I'm gonna what I'm gonna get in, get into. Okay, but you should see growth. Okay. Anyway, First uh, Corinthians 14 and 39. I'm gonna hit it and then I move on. Uh, Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. Okay, because there's order to things. There's levels to things. Okay. Okay. Anyway, with that being said. Let's move on. Prophesy. I'm going to prophesy. So for the for the newcomers, we already know. Prophesy. A pro prophesy means to say before. Okay, to say before something happens. That's what it means to prophesy. But just to prove it, like the scriptures say, prove all things. Let's go into. Let's look it up, and then we can move forward, and I'll build. I'll build my case. Okay. All right. Prophesy. This is off of Google. Say that a specific. Uh, say that a specified thing will happen in the future. Like we said, to say before, synonyms, predict, foretell, forecast, foresee. And the apostles, the elder apostles always say they are the, we are the spiritual weathermen telling you to forecast. Okay, we're telling you to repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, to Yasharala, the nation of Israel. Okay, that's prophesying, warning the people, warning the people of the uh, uh, impending uh, doom that's about to hit this place. Jacob's trouble. And ultimately, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, being pushed and implemented and made it, and made mandatory among the people, among the world, worldwide, okay? Warning the people, saying before it happens, this world war, this famine that's about to hit, the race wars, that's what that's what your job is, prophesy and back it up with scriptures, scriptures and news, you know? Being a watchman, okay? That says, uh, off of Marion Webster, all right? It says, prophesy. Okay, it's uh, to utter by or as if by divine inspiration. That's why I put that. Okay, by divine inspiration. Okay, from the Lord, from Yahweh, the Rakak Wadash, which is ultimately Yahweh Shai, which is ultimately Yahweh. They're all one. Everything is connected. Okay, Yahweh Shai said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is speaking of me. He is the comforter. He is the role. He was sent, you know, uh, his sheep hear his voice. He stands at the door and knocks. Okay, okay, he is the Rakak Wadash, his spirit. He's not here, but he left his spirit with us to guide us. That's the divine inspiration. Okay, <laughs> and he left his men here, his prophets, his holy prophets. Okay, that are standing in their lot doing what we're supposed to do, being an example. Okay, to show you brothers that you can do it also. So there is, there shall be no cloak for your sins. All right, either get down or lay down, man. All right. Okay, uh, definition of prophecy, to utter to utter by or as if by divine inspiration, to predict with assurance, and we, what we're telling you is, we damn, we assured of it, <laughs> that's why the scripture said, let each man be fully persuaded in his own mind, okay, we are assured of it, alright, that says, to predict with assurance or on the basis of mystic knowledge, which is spiritual knowledge, basically is what he's trying to say, okay, to speak as if divinely inspired. And the scripture said that the righteous are as bold as a lion. Okay? They were, you know, the men the men spoke with such authority. Okay? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to know what you talk. And if you know what you're talking about, and if you have faith, you are going to carry yourself in that manner. The Lord said, We are above, they are from beneath, man. We not cut from their cloth. Okay? We study. We're studying constantly. We're the watchmen, okay? We have that divine authority, man. Okay, we are those men, hopefully, humbly. Lord willing, we endure to the end. Okay? It says, to give instruction in religious matters, preach. And the Lord said, be constant, in season, out of season. That's what a prophet would do, to make a prediction. Okay? <laughs> now, let's get what teach is. Because like the brother said, there's prophets and there's teachers. Okay? But first, let me get what a teacher is. Flop it. My internet running kind of slow, man. Damn demons. Lock it, man. And I got that joint hardwired. That bitch still running slow. And demons trying to hinder the lesson. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Teacher. One that teaches. Okay? So we can X that out of there. So we need a definition for teach. I probably got too many of these damn uh, tabs open, too, because these damn Google Chrome tabs be um, taking up so much damn memory. So much damn uh, 
or heart or space or whatever energy to to, to, to to run. Probably got too many open. Got a couple down here too. Oh well, but flock it, brothers. Bear with me, man. Internet acting up. Damn devil trying to hinder the lesson. All right, um, flock over here. Teach, show, or explain to someone how to do something. So, like I said, a prophet is going to teach. That that's in your lot, okay? But a teacher is not a prophet. I'm gonna, I'm we're gonna get into going to the scriptures, all right? A teacher is not a prophet, all right? A prophet is a teacher, but a teacher is not a prophet. There's levels of things. Teach. To cause to know something. To cause to know how. To, to accustom to something or attitude. Basically to teach them, to, 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 to show someone something. That's what a teacher is. Okay? But, like I said, that a te that's what a teacher is. A teacher is someone that, that shows you something. Okay? But like I said, a prophet was something completely different. A prophet says before divinely inspired, okay, there's levels of things, okay, <clears throat> okay, so I'm, I think I'm good on this one, I'm like, I'm gonna hold that, because in case I gotta come back to it, I'm gonna save this last, and um, let's go into this one here, let's go through these, I got a couple scriptures I wanna run through, alright, um, let's go to Romans, I'll start at 12 and 1, um, ah, hold on, let me start 12 and 1 here, yeah, Con. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service, which is prophesying, man, pushing this truth. That's what you were, that's your purpose, man. That's what you were put here for. Okay, what we, hopefully, humbly, we believe, the men of great millstone, millstone. We are, we are, we are, we are a camp of prophets, man. Okay. Romans twelve and two, and 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 be not conformed to this world. Like I said, we not of this. We not. We are from above. They're from below, beneath, man. We're not cut from the same cloth. We believe we are the prophets humbly, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, which is what getting this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This, this you got to first get the sincere milk, and then then you start to grow. You see that first you you get you start learning, and then you become a teacher. Then you become a prophet. Okay, there's levels. Okay, once you get the milk, you're able to see. You're able to see. You know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your of, of thy times. You get the eye solved. Then you start to go out there and prophesy. You start to be your eyes begin to be open. You see, but there's levels of things. All right. I don't know if I hope I'm 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 conveying it uh, properly. Okay, Lord's willing, I am. It says uh. And uh, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye that ye may prove what it what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. So you gotta prove yourself, man. You just ain't gonna slide into the kingdom. Now, Salakia, some people are gonna slide into the kingdom. That's it is what it is, man. The Lord said He'd do what He He does whatever He wants with it with His uh with His penny, man. He's the Lord. He can do whatever the hell He wants, man. Okay. So like the man that was on the, the 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 man that was on the cross next to him, you know he didn't do nothing. He was a wicked sinner, but he repented at the last second. The Lord said, "At this day you will be in paradise with me." You know he just slid in there, you know. But in general, you're gonna have to put in some work, man. Okay. Much is given, much is required. Okay. Um. Anyway. And that man on the cross was probably the prodigal son. That's that you could reference that as the prodigal son because he knew better. That's why he repented. At the last moment, he repented. He said, "We we we deserve to be up here." So he knew better. The other dude was just wicked, man. Okay. But anyway, um, let's see. Uh, Romans twelve and three. For I say through the grace given unto me, which is what's the grace? What's the grace? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Your eyes even being open to kind of understand it if you kind of understand it. To even have stumbled across our videos, to even have walked a a, 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 across one of the camps, that's grace, okay? Whether you, now, in the scriptures, so whether you they hear or forbear. So if they scoff at it, hey, that was on them. They had grace. They could have came up and asked questions humbly. We would have addressed them, okay? Because we believe humbly we are the prophets, okay? We study the scriptures to, to be able to answer your questions, okay? To be able to teach you. Like I said, there's levels of things, okay? And we believe we're divinely inspired. 
Okay, we're we're compelled to do this thing. We can't. We we have to. We can't. You know, we're, it's our reasonable service. All right. And if you're not doing this, then you're not a prophet. You know, not to say you don't understand the scriptures. You could just be a teacher, a wicked servant. You see, a lot a lot of these uh, men in Israel are just teachers, man. And they don't even teach the whole the, the proper the whole uh, the whole lesson, man. You see. There's levels, man. It says, For I say through the grace given unto me to every... Romans 12 and 3. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to think. Okay, it's about being humble. That's why we always say the hopeful elect. And there's levels. Then the Lord will bug you out, man. Knowledge puffeth up. The Lord will think you, have you thinking you're on some level when you're not. Okay, you think the Lord is dealing with you and he's not. He's already spewed you out and you don't even know it. Okay, that's why you got to be humble. Let me go back up a little bit. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to think. And that's why I always say, I'm a piece of shit, man. I'm a piece of shit. I go off, I sin, you know, but the difference is I repent. I ask for forgiveness and I try to do what the Lord said. I bring my body under subjection like Paul said. I try to push these videos. Demons jump on me. You know, just like the next man. But I try to shake them shits off. I think, on, I meditate on the precepts. I, I, know when, I know when I'm going off. You should know when you're going off. Rebuke it. Fight it. All the time, you ain't, it ain't going to work all the time. Because, hey, the creature was made to go off. It's to humble you. To, uh, to, make, to make you, because you'll get high. You'll get puffed up. The Lord got to bring you down sometimes. Knock you off that peg. Okay? He knocked Moses off that peg. Okay, it says, uh, but to think soberly according according as Yahweh has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Okay, so every man has their own portion, man, their own portion of, uh, uh, you see, for we as many members in one body and all members have not the same office. Like I said, there's levels, there's levels. So we being many are one body in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given unto us. Whether prophecy, meaning to say before, to see things before it happens. Let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministering or he that teacheth on teaching. Or he that exhorteth on exhortion. So some brothers might just be there to, to, to lift brothers up, man. They still understand the scriptures and this, this, and that. But each brother got their own thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And whatever portion of gift you have, use it. But ultimately, you should be covered in to prophesy. No matter what portion you have. That's the point that I wanted to get out there. 1 Corinthians 14 and 39. Even if you feel like you have a, you should be studying. You should be, you know, trying to grow, praying, fasting. So you can get on that level of a prophet. Because the Lord said he was calling, calling a nation of priests and that we all show the same diligence. You see? But the Lord is merciful. He gives you grace. Okay? That's why he says not to be slothful. And if you be diligent and you do what you're supposed to do, especially if you do what the apostles told you to do, i.e. put up videos, you'll see, you'll grow. The Lord put the spirit on Elder Apostle to heart to, 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 to say the things he does. He says, man, it's for a reason, like I always say. He's the coach. He's coaching you, trying to push you. He goes off. We all go off, man. We're not perfect. But the point is we put, we, we're going to keep prophesying no matter what. Whether you laugh and scoff or thumb the videos down or whatever, we're going to keep pushing because we believe we are the prophets. And matter we, we, we can't help it, man. Okay? And you, brothers, should covet to do that. Covet to prophesy. Okay? I might not even go through all these scriptures, man. The point, I think, is being being drunk, man. All right? Um, let me see. I don't want to make this too long. I know my video be mad long sometimes. Uh, let me see where I want to go with this. I don't even remember where I went with this. Lock it. Hold on. Hold on, brothers. Okay. There we go. Let me see where I want to start this. Lock it. Uh... 1 Corinthians 12 and 14. 
Now there are diff diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And like I said, the Rakakwadash, which ultimately is Yahweh shot, okay? Which ultimately is Yahweh, because they're one. Okay. They are one. We're all one. Just like all the men of Great Millstone, we're one. If you say you're part of Great Millstone, you're supposed to be one, one accord. Okay? We all push the same doctrine. Okay, one. No schisms. Alright? Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it's the same Yahweh which worketh in all. So every brother got their own flavor, their own style. You see? In different places. Some brothers are in, in Cali, some brothers in New York, some brothers in Australia, some brothers in London. But we all on, on point. We all one with the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the Rakak Wadash, which is the Holy Spirit. Alright? And then... Uh, Verse 7, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to every, uh, for to one is given by the Spirit, the Word, which is the Word found in the book, man. These words, okay? That's how you clean yourself, through the words, the wisdom, okay? That's going to be your wisdom, the knowledge and stability of the times. That's what's going to get you through these perilous times that are drastically approaching, man. Staying in your sword. Getting your, you know, stay, staying with the brothers, okay, watching, staying in that spirit, holy conversation, okay, for to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, so Yahweh Shai divvying it up to everybody, man, and we all fit together, man, it's all to benefit the body. To another faith by the same spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit divide into every man severally as he will. For as the body is one, and hath many members for for as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many or one body so also is Yahweh shot <clears throat> all right so let me drop that uh I just want to bang these out real quick uh uh first Corinthians 13 and 1 though I speak with the tongues of men of, and of the uh, tilapia Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I become as I become as sounding brass or as a tinkling cymbal. What's charity? Doing the works, man. Not giving money to people, homeless people. That ain't the charity it's talking about. I'm talking about doing this work, man. Okay. And though I have the gift of prophecy, because that's the word, that's that's the charity. If you have the vision that I solve, if you can understand. What the hell the apostles are saying. You can understand the scriptures. That's your reasonable service, man. Okay? And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, you got the Lord blessed you, man. The Lord opened your eyes, man. How the hell could you not prophesy? All right? And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. So he has no works, man. He got all the wisdom, all the knowledge, all the understanding, but he got no work, no charity. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, like I said, it ain't about giving money. It's about making your body a living sacrifice, man. Putting up videos, going up on the highways and the byways, man. That's the charity, okay? And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profits me nothing. Okay? Uh, charity suffered long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. That's doing its work humbly to the elect. Humbly pushing this truth over and over, whether they hear or forbear. To prove that, let me get a. Yeah, I had it here already. I had it lined up. Uh, to prove that, that that charity is talking about us, man, doing its work. Okay? It says Revelations two and nine. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. Poverty, because we are poor, but thou art rich. 
okay? That's what he's talking about. That's a charity, okay? That's a charity given to the poor. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, because you're supposed to be really feeding them with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's what's going to lift them up, man. This, 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 this knowledge, this word, that's what's going to comfort them, okay? You teach a man to fish, he fish for life, man. He feed himself for life, okay? Uh, let me move on. I just want to bang him out. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, go straight to the point. Second Peter 1 and 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but by holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, the Rakak Wadash, which was Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai put the spirit on these men, okay? He said he stands at the door and he knocks, okay? So everything is done based on the will of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, okay? For prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, okay? Because the Lord, the, there is no free will, all right? Anyway, uh, I just want to bang them out real quick. Uh, uh, Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. See, it's all about prophecy, saying before. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. We at, we in them times where all these prophecies are going to start to come to pass. Most, A lot of the prophecies have already came to pass. Certain of them haven't come to pass yet. I.e. Jacob's trouble um, and, and the RFID chip and the Lord returning. Okay, these things haven't happened yet. The Lord said, though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come. The time is at hand, man. Our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. Okay, so now is the time to covet prophesying, okay? Uh, I'm, almost, I'm almost done, brothers, I believe. Uh, a couple more. All right, uh, Revelations. Uh, 19 and 9. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Who is that? The hopeful elect, okay? The wise virgins, not the foolish. Well, the foolish, the foolish virgins are called also. The wise and the foolish. But we want to be the wise. We don't want to be the foolish. We don't want to be the ones that get beat with many stripes. Okay, we want to endure and do what the Lord said. He said it's better to obey than give sacrifice, all right? And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of Yahweh. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he saith unto me, See thou do it not. Do See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Okay? So we are we all about serving. We're servants. We're bought with a price. Okay? We're carrying our cross, giving diligence. Just as Yahweh Shai did, be ye perfect as I am. Yahweh Shai did it, we got to do it too, okay? It says, worship Yahweh for their testimony. Check this out. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So if you say you, you so-called believe in Jesus Christ, which that isn't his name, but I'm just saying that, you know, we know it's Yahweh Shai. But if you so-called believe in Jesus, you're supposed to be prophesying, man. That's a that's a spirit that he was in. Okay. All right. Revelations, that's why it says covet prophesying. Revelations twenty two and ten. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his works shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. That's your Hawashai, okay? He said he's coming quickly, all right? He's the first and the last. He was the first Adam and the last Adam, if you can receive it, okay? And he said he's coming quickly, all right? So, like I said, covet prophesying. That's that's all I can tell you, brothers, man. Eat the roll and then go out there and teach like the Lord said to do. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to go through all these. I probably ain't going to go through this. Yeah, I was going to go through this, but I'm not. I'm not. Let me see if I want to go through this one here. I think I hit the point already. Um, yeah. 
I ain't gonna go through this. I was gonna go into another point, but that's gonna take me a good little minute to go through that. But anyway, like I said, that's the point of this video, man. That's the spirit you should be in, man. In all hot, holy conversation, man. Med measuring the times and uh, studying to show thyself approved. And like I said, there's levels of things. There's teachers and there's, prof there's prophets. Okay? And we all have our different gifts. All right? But ultimately, the number one gift you should covet is prophesying. Th that's the times we're in, man. Okay? Anyway, with that being said, Hopefully it was edifying. Keep pushing, man. We're almost out of here. Shalom.